Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name's Attempster. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the render to texture video script in the Blender game engine. Right here I have an example of a gun with a scope mounted on it with a weird bark texture and if I press P you'll see the bark texture disappears and I can zoom in on objects like this monkey here. So for example the pink one over there or this yellow one here or this green one all the way over here. Basically how this works is we have one plane in here so this is the display and then we have another camera here called scope and that is basically like the recording device so whatever this camera sees is then displayed onto this little scope here in real time. So yeah really handy you can use this for heaps of stuff mirrors real time video cameras if you wanted to have uh, like your character actually using a video camera you could also use it for security cameras and a whole bunch of other stuff and that's what we're going to be doing today so first thing I'm going to do is click file new make a new file in blender change it to blender game glsl frame rate of 60 and then I'm going to press X delete shift A at a plane press S to scale and then I'm going to press shift F1 and add in my FPS template this will be in the description if you guys don't have it so once you've found it click on it after pressing shift F1 then go to object and we want body hold down shift and select camera feet and head as well then click link and append and there we go now we want this to be the active camera, so right click to select it, press control and numpad 0, and there we go. Now if we go into texture view and press P, you should now be able to look around with your mouse and move around with the keyboard. Now I'm going to move my character backwards a bit, I'm going to press S to scale him down as well, and I'm going to use this camera here as my sort of security camera or recording camera and I'm just going to call it record and then we need a display for this to display onto so I'm also going to press shift A at a plane and use this to display what the camera sees. I'm going to press R Y minus 90 uh, so it's facing towards the player and just move it back a bit here and I'm going to call this uh, I guess you can call it anything you want but display I guess is relevant then I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and now we'll go along and give it a material so this part's important you have to we can click new material but the name of the material has to be something unique so uh, something you'll be typing in a property we'll just call it texture and then I'm gonna turn off specular turn off back facing then I'm gonna give it a new texture I'm gonna select image or movie and then UV and we just want to open up a random texture so this can be anything this is just to see if the plane is properly UV unwrapped then I'm gonna press tab U unwrap and that will unwrap it for us um, then I'm gonna press RX 90 because it's uh, yeah flipped the texture and I'm gonna press SY to scale it out a bit and something like that looks good now I'm gonna select my lamp here and move it over so the player can see the front of that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to up here move along to game logic and now what we want to do is with our display selected we want to add an always sensor and a python controller join the two up make sure the always sensor is on true and now we need a script we don't want to use the mouse look we want to use another one so click uh, create new text block and then there'll be a link in the description for the tutorials for blender 3d 2.5 upwards script for the blender game engine find that you can open that up or you can just copy the code in there and then paste it in like so then I'm gonna call this render to texture I'll just put .py afterwards just in case and then I'm gonna put that in here then on the same object and this has to be the display with the wooden texture I'm gonna add two game properties this first one here is gonna be the material and basically if you look into the script over here there right there material it's looking for the texture material ID which is just called material so right here and we need to change them both to string 
and this is the material we named before so my one was called just texture make sure you have your capitals right as well because it is caps sensitive then in my second property I'm going to rename it cam so C A M and again that is from up here it's finding the camera name so right there just cam and in this side we're going to give it the actual name of the camera so we're going to select it and I've called it record so we'll select our object here again and just type in record so now if we press 0 and move this along a bit and now we'll press P and as you can see there is the other camera's view of us for some weird reason the sky is blue I'm not sure why but most of your games should have a skybox or something to prevent that from happening I don't because this is just for tutorial purposes but as you can see if I move forward you'll notice the picture moves forward as well so if I move sideways the camera can see me moving sideways as well and it records it on this display so there you go that's sort of a security camera setup now say I wanted to use a scope or gun scope, I'll scale this down a bit, obviously fit it into my modelled gun scope, then I'd parent it to the gun or parent it to the head of the player, so like this, parent the display, I'm just going to move it up a bit, and then I'm going to quickly change the lighting to Hemi, uh, press Alt R, and then this camera here, pretending it is my scope, I'm then going to press Alt R to get rid of the rotation, then RX 90, and then RZ minus 90, and then we can move it back here. So now it's recording what's in front of the player, uh, but we want it to be recording not what is just a few steps in front of the player. We might want it to be recording, say, 50 units in front of the player. So basically, to change that, what we do is if you click on the camera that you're wanting to use for your scope so record then you go to the focal length here and you go and turn that up so as you can see it slowly moves as I turn this value up so maybe if you want to select something like 50 then you can see it gets stretched and if I change it to maybe even 75 it stretches out even more so I'll just quickly line that up and I'll put an object in the distance for it to see so for example just a monkey like before um, with a bright color so maybe we'll give it a green color something like that and now if we press P you can see the monkey well this is a bit warped so I'm going to press SY to scale it and then if we press P again there we go then select the sort of scope camera and then hold down shift and select the head and press control P as well because we want it to move with the player and then I'm going to turn this focal length to even more so maybe um, 150 or maybe not that much maybe 100 that should be enough and then I'm going to press 0 and maybe move it in the middle here somewhere then I'm going to press P and there we go so if we look upwards you can see we get a picture of the monkey which is a lot bigger uh, and you can see we're getting the same perspective but it's zoomed in a lot more and you basically just achieve that by moving the focal length up and down you can also do a whole bunch of other things to camera to sort of affect how it's recorded I'm still not sure how to get rid of the blue sky but again you should be using sky boxes or sky domes to uh, cover your games and again if that's still happening and you have one then make sure you're clipping you might need to turn that up a bit just in case well, that's pretty much the end of the tutorial guys so hopefully now you have your own awesome scope or security camera set up or anything that you are planning on using this for again if you guys want to follow the tutorial on tutorials for blender3d.com again they came up with this script and pretty much with the whole tutorial so I recommend this it has lots of other cool stuff which you can use on it but um, yeah go ahead check out that it's got 
lots and lots of simple steps and a starting and finishing blend as well. So there you go guys, that's how to get render to video texture working in the Blender game engine. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, if you have another request or maybe you want to see something else done tutorial wise then feel free to leave a comment. But otherwise, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.